Hi everyone, I am Zichi. I am one of the founder of Resource Fashion. So uh, I'm based in New York City, currently um, joining from my apartment in downtown Brooklyn. And my co-founder Tatiana right now, she's in China. She's in Guangzhou, so the actual fashion production capital in China. We have an office of uh, around six employees right now, and it's expanding. Uh, these are apparel professionals that take care of our clients' order. And we also work with now up to more than uh, 40 sample rooms and manufacturers, uh, as well as fabric vendors, who are also part of our network and using our uh, digital system to, uh, to provide convenience and the best quality service for our users. When I tell people what we're doing, I like to say that uh, you can think of it as Uber Eats, for fashion manufacturing. Uh, if you think about Uber Eats, they don't own any restaurants, they don't know, own any delivery person, but uh, they build a platform and infrastructure made it very easy for anyone to order their favorite dish uh, through through a click on their mobile phone. So that's the that's the ultimate stage we want to get into. The thing I liked about you was you are working with a lot of small brands. So there is the element of, you know, under understanding the needs that a small brand has that they don't necessarily have it all together and you know have the passion but maybe not all of the expertise at the start so you do have that kind of yeah. um, and maybe it's something you could talk through a little bit more at some stage like you do have that kind of bridge between sort of the designer so you know maybe someone I work with mm -hmm. and then the factory as well just so things don't get lost in translation like we hear from a lot of other these kind of production horror stories where things just get lost in translation things go horribly wrong and um, yeah. with yourselves there is that kind of bridge between the designer and the factory just to make it a little bit easier as well yeah 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 certainly so um well we are a startup so like every single stage that we're in it's not the final stage we're constantly iterating i will first speak about how things work now and we'll mm -hmm. talk about our like next few month of plan of how to even improve our process on top of what we already have so right now uh when brands work with us to deliver their design there are a couple ways either they already have a physical product that they want to replicate it's, it can be something they already made themselves or it can be inspiration from another brand uh but they they want to make it in different color with with different fabric, they can ship this product to us. And then we will use those as reference for fabric searching, as well as for the fit in the, uh, in the actual sample room. Um, mm -hmm. We help them with grading too, as long as brand provides us with the uh, size chart, because every single brand has different like uh, persona yep. of the customer, uh, size chart will be different, different naturally. Uh, but after the, uh, but with, uh, besides that, we. Another way we can do it, obviously, is through tag pack. And um, one common like experience among uh, overseas brands when they work with uh, Asian manufacturers are like the understanding from the sample room or manufacturer might not be accurate. So we have an in-house pattern maker who understands the construction and the ins and out of production of you know, clothing, and they will translate these tag pack very carefully uh, and pass on all the details to our sample rooms uh, in our network. So our office in China is located in the biggest fabric market, and we're very close to the fabric, but also to sample rooms. So we're in the same building as like hundreds of other sample rooms. Our goal is to be able Amazing. to onboard all of them by end of the year. So uh, our brands will have access to all of these high quality sample rooms. And I mean, they are they are like really um, top notch in our industry. A uh, um, lot of the China has been the past few decades, like the fashion capital of the world. So there are mm -hmm. so many highly technical and highly skilled sewers um, located in the same building. So it's, it's a great advantage we have over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share my screen. Let me know if you guys can see it. Yes, can see it. Thank you. So first of all, this is our website. Um, we're we're like doing a lot of like changes to it, but mo most recently we have added quite a lot of stuff. Um, there's a case study section where, if you're interested, you can definitely click in to read more about how other brand experiences have been. We have three brands that we interviewed, and uh, uh, yeah some some other uh, live stream and podcasts we did in the past can also be found here uh but like essentially more details you can find in our website if you're interested you can 
click here, learn more. That will take you to like a type form. Uh, you can put down your information, but also there's a quite a few videos that I have pre-recorded that it's an interactive form. So you will be able to uh, also get, get educated about who we are and what we're doing uh, through filling out the form. Amazing. I love that you have that as well. Um, and actually one thing, I don't know if you had anything else kind of prepared that you wanted to talk about, but I know one thing that everyone was asking uh, me. Life. I have a timeline. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I haven't touched on timeline. Uh, You're way ahead of me. <laughs> so fabric sourcing is one to two days uh, for each round because our one, we have one dedicated person who goes to market every day to do, to do the purchase. And um, as brands, you, can, you either we find the, your perfect fabric in one round or we take multiple rounds, but we're able to do it anyway. Um, and then sample making takes five to seven days after a fabric is being sourced. Uh, and after that, bulk production takes normally two to four weeks, depending on the type of style and the techniques involved. And air shipping to US and UK both are seven days. Okay, really fast, which I like. Are there any times when you're particularly busy when someone, because I know with some factories, they have sort of standards of delivery windows, but then sometimes they get really busy and then we have to book in advance or the with the Chinese. Yeah, okay. that's, the, that's the advantage of us not being tied to one manufacturer. We have a network of manufacturer and we don't tie brand with one manufacturer as well, because we understand that there is seasonality, there is capacity issue. If you do that, then that means like, obviously with manufacturers, many of them will prioritize on bigger clients. So if they don't have capacity, they just cannot work on the order of the brands. Uh, for us, like we have a network of, as, as, as I said, over 40 manufacturers. So there's always a way mm -hmm. to, you know, move around different order and we're constantly expanding to even more manufacturers. Uh, because like the, the a big issue in this industry is like when brands work with only one manufacturer, obviously the upside is you trust them, you have working relationship. However, when they're busy, you got screwed, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if the actual, you know, if you work with us, uh, we will make sure that we have the sample reference for the brand. So we, whichever manufacturer we assign a brand's product to be working with, we have the right reference. We can do a quality check. We can make sure that uh, it's being delivered with the same type of quality over time. And not being Amazing. not have to be tied to the um, capacity issue that one single mm -hmm. manufacturer would bring as well. Does anyone else have any questions? I feel like I had one and I've just forgotten it, which is very frustrating. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Um, we do have a code, don't we, for people watching this who I can put the link in the replay um, and put it into our membership area as well. Um, so anyone wanting to give this a go and try it out, um, was it? I don't want to say the price in case I say it wrong, but you'll know oh, what it's it is. 249 per month. Yeah. I don't know. Did I communicate this? I probably forgot. We're also putting our price price um pricing page onto our website very soon. Now, like we don't have pricing there because we were still testing. But I think two forty nine is a very fair price for both sides, uh, for our team to be able to survive and for the brands mm -hmm. to be able to also um, build a, a brand from from ground up. Um, mm -hmm. Sample making is fifty dollars fifty dollar per piece. Um, excluding fabric trim and shipping. And we have really good working relation with freight forwarder, uh, the, the parties that ship things from China to the US, making sure, or UK, the custom clearance is down, et cetera. Uh, so their mm -hmm. rate for us is also pretty good uh, with UPS or FedEx, they're all uh, pretty good like um, rate. Um, and with uh, with Vicky, if you guys have using the code, it will be a hundred dollar off for the first month of subscription. Yeah, and thank you for that. We appreciate the offer and you coming to talk to us about it. Um, Takoni's asking, is it a contract um, or is it like a month yeah, to month? Month thing? to month. It's month to month. You can think of it as like Amazon Prime membership. It it is it feels like a membership uh, where once you are our member, as long as you're our member, our team works for you and we make sure that uh, a supply chain is well set up for your success. Okay, amazing. Um, and for anybody watching who is maybe watching live or on the replay, however, um, if they want to kind of get started with this, what's the first thing that they need to do? And do they need to have it? I mean, we talked about tech packs briefly. Is there anything else they kind of need to prepare or know 
so before coming to you yeah so ideally like the first month we start with three styles and uh ideally you come to us or with existing tech tech, tech pack ready and we can directly get you started that's the most efficient way or you have some product you want to remake you can directly start shipping to us we also assist with international shipping um brands will pay for it but we help them you know make prepare for the um like custom clearance documents to make sure the package package delivered on time and um uh and with no custom issue and one last thing if you still have time because i thought remembered what my question was from earlier um you talked about the quality control aspect which is something i really liked and someone who couldn't make it live was asking me about as well and what does that process look like for you are you kind of reporting back to the brands is there an area in the um, system in the software that kind of talks about any findings in the quality control or yeah just a little bit about how that works yeah so essentially like we like we only start bulk production after we confirm on the sample right so uh, after we make the sample we ship to brands brands can approve the sample and we even sometimes have pre-production sample with different size option we would we could also, you know, make two and ship one to brands for them to confirm. So essentially quality control is just to make sure that what, what the manufacturers produce match with our reference sample, because that's mm-hmm. the only source of truth that both brands and us we have. And we yeah. use that as a way to manage the quality. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Thank you so much.